Hi, and welcome to Linda's Take on Office. Today we are going to be looking at PowerPoint, which is one of my favorite programs, and learning how to do some changes to our graphics, uh, messing around with media, as well as putting hyperlinks in, not only hyperlinks to a website or an email, but also to a hyperlink to another slide in our presentation or even a document. So let's get going with PowerPoint. So I have my presentation here. I have already saved it and I am ready to go with step one. Uh, the first thing it wants us to do is reset the picture on the title slide to its original settings. So we have this picture on our title slide and um, we want to make it look just as it did before we made any changes to it. So up here with our picture selected, we have our picture format tab. Over here we have reset picture and we can reset picture and size and it's going to take away all of the formatting that was on that picture and take it back to its original settings. On slide two, we want to insert a hyperlink from some text to another slide in our presentation. So right here, here we have contact and we want to make this a hyperlink so that when you select contact, it's going to take you to slide nine, the slide with all of our contact information. So to do that up here on the insert tab, we're gonna come here to link, go down to the very bottom where it says insert link and over here, you can see where we have our different options. We want to go to a place in this document. See all of our slides and their titles are listed here. So we're going to click with the contact and say OK. And now if someone was to select this contact, it would take you right to slide nine. We don't want um, hyperlink for our SWOT analysis here so we can just right click on it here and remove link and our communication plan hyperlink we want to edit it so that it goes to slide eight so we're just going to right click on there we're going to edit the link we're going to leave it as a place in this document but instead of going to slide five we want it to go to slide eight and we'll say okay Another thing, fun thing that we can do in PowerPoint is we can make something an action button so that it moves around in our presentation. So in this case, we want to take our sun graphic here. So make sure you have your sun graphic selected here. And up here on our insert tab, we have our action. This is where we can put an action on a specific object. So we're going to select action and we want it to go to we want it to set the sun as a hyperlink to where we'll go to the next slide in our presentation. We're going to say, okay. Now you might be asking, well, why, you know, if we just click our space bar, right, it's going to go to the next slide. But what if we want to talk about our communication plan? And then we want to go back. We want to talk about our contacts and it's going to go back here to slide two. And instead of going to any of those, we want to make sure we just go to the next slide. So we're going to click on our sun. On slide three, we want to make some changes to this. We want to change our picture to one of the pictures that we downloaded. So we can come over here and with our picture selected, up here on the picture format tab, over here on the left, we can change the picture. And we want to change it to something from a file. And I'm going to go to my downloads and I'm going to find that skier picture and insert and it's going to change our picture right there. Now we're going to make some changes to our picture. Now remember back to when you were working in Word and you were making some changes to some pictures and graphics. It all works the same in PowerPoint. So up here with our picture selected, we have our picture format tab and we want to flip our picture horizontally. So we're going to come over here to where it says rotate and come to flip horizontal 
and we also want to resize it so its height is exactly three inches. So I'm going to come up here to the height and make that a three. I want to change the color saturation of my picture. So I'm going to come over here to where it says color. And I have color saturation right up at the top. And I want to make that 200%. So just scroll over here to saturation 200%. And I also want to change the brightness and contrast of my picture. So up here over under corrections, we have our brightness and contrast. And this is just changing how our picture looks. We're not doing anything to the original picture. We are only making changes to the picture on this slide. We want brightness to be minus 20 and contrast plus 40. The last thing we want to do is we want to compress this picture. We want to make sure it's taking up as little space as possible in our presentation. So right here we have compressed pictures and we're going to compress just this picture and use the default resolution and say OK. And we have compressed our picture on that slide. Now on slide four, we want to make the yellow lightning bolt a hyperlink to a file. So I'm going to select my lightning bolt. And up here under Insert, I'm going to go back to Link, scroll down to where it says Insert Link. This time, we're going to link it to an existing file. And um, I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to look in my Downloads. Scroll up here, find my Downloads. And this, this document is going to be wherever you saved it when you downloaded it from SAM. This is one of those uh, support files and we want to find the support PowerPoint 19. So these are in alphabetically order here. So I'm going to come down here to support uh, PowerPoint 19 SWAT. Say OK. And now if when I'm in my presentation I click on that lightning bolt it's going to find that document for me. I do want to edit this though. So if I right click on my picture and come down here to edit link and what it wants me to do is it wants me to have a screen tip. So I'm here on screen tip and I want this to say click to open the full SWOT analysis. I'm going to say OK and then OK. So you can see when I put my mouse over it, I have a screen tip that comes up that lets me know what would happen if I was to select this object. Now here in our placeholder, we want to add a smart art. So I'm going to come down here to this icon to insert a smart art graphic. I want to find the matrix and I want the basic matrix smart art. Say OK. Click on this little arrow right here, turns our text box on or off or our text pane for our smart art. It makes you can close it or you can open it. And we're going to enter our text over here in this text pane. So um, you look at the instructions here. The very first one is strengths. Make sure you spell stuff correctly. Our second one is going to be opportunities. You can see our text is shrinking to fit and all of our text and all of our smart art boxes is the same size. Weaknesses and finally threats. So I have all of my, um, my boxes filled out, but I want to make opportunities be beneath weaknesses. So over here in my smart art pane, it's real easy to move them around. I'm just going to select opportunities here. I'm going to right click on it and you can see here I can move it up or I can move it down in my list. I want to move it down so that it's beneath weaknesses. 
going to close my text pane here. You either do it by that X or by this little arrow here. Um, I want to change the height of my smart art to four. So up here on my format tab for my smart art, I'm going to change. If you see your height is 1.72, you just have one of your areas selected. So we want to click off of that box so we have just the entire smart art selected. And we want to change that height to four. And we want to change the smart art colors. So we're going to come here to smart art design and go to colors. And we want it colorful, accent colors, three to four. And we want to change the style and we want to change it to 3D inset just to make it look a little bit better on our slide. Now we're going to go to slide six. So here on slide six, we want to add a video file. So here on our little shortcuts, we have insert video. So I'm going to select that. And I'm going to go to my downloads. And here is my skiing video. I'm going to insert. And you can see this is an MP4 file. So insert. It's going to put my video in here. And now I can actually make some changes to how this looks and how it's going to play back. So the first thing we want to do is apply the glow rounded rectangle video style. So up here under the video format tab, again, if you don't see this tab, you don't have your video selected. Right here we have our video styles and we're going to come down here to the um, glow rounded rectangle style. Select that. We want to change the video volume to low. So in the playback, we have our volume and we're going to change that to low. So once we have our video volume changed to low, now we want to select the option to rewind the video after playing it. So we want to automatically rewind. Uh, for those of you old enough, think back to Blockbuster days. Once it always reminds me of. So we want to rewind after playing. So we're just going to select that option right there. And then the last thing we want to do with our video is to compress it to standard. So we just want to change how it's um, saved in our PowerPoint presentation and how it's presented. So we're going to come up here to the File tab, and we're going to come down here to Info. And right here is our media size and performance. And this is how we can save our disk space and improve our playback by compressing our media files. So we're just going to select Compress Media, and we want to compress it to the standard. And so we're going to let it do, let it do its thing there. And as soon as this is finished running, we can just say close, come back up here to this arrow, and go back to our PowerPoint presentation. Now we're going to come back here to slide five because we've decided we want to add a action button to our smiley face. So come over to our smiley face. And on the, up on our insert tab, we have an action button here. And we want an action button that takes it to slide six. So here we're going to select the hyperlink two. And on this drop down arrow, we're going to tell it we want it to go to slide. And once we select that slide, we can be more specific and say go to slide six and say OK. And then close that box. So we're now ready to save our presentation and I'm going to close it. I'm going to come back to my class here and I'm going to submit it for grading. Now I'm going to check my graded summary report. It's going to bring it up down here in my taskbar. And I'm going to go to my last slide of my presentation to see what my score is. So as always, if you have any questions, please uh, make a comment, 
and I will get back with you as soon as I can. So I hope you've had some fun today working with PowerPoint, learning a little bit about changing the graphics and adding some hyperlinks into your presentation. As always, if you like my videos, please uh, hit like and like my channel, like subscribe to my channel so you can find out when I post new videos. Make sure you like my videos. And as always, wherever you are, I hope you've had some sunshine in your life today. Bye-bye.